Hi, I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And we've been told we're the VoIP heroes. So, uh, are you going to wear a cape today? No, I opted for the tights. I opted for the tights. I think you opted for a hunting outfit. Are you uh, hey. afraid somebody's going to shoot you? September 12th, buddy. September I'm representing 12th. my Clemson Tigers today. Uh, shameless plug, huh? Yeah. All right. So, today we're going to talk about quality of service, or what most people call QoS. At Bandwidth.com, we think of QoS as really the quality of the total conversation or the quality or perception of that conversation to the customer. So we look at it in three different areas. Does the call work, uh, meaning did you pick up the phone, were you able to dial, and were you able to talk to somebody on the other end? Was that conversation that you had clear and easy to, easy to understand, so was the clarity good? And then was it consistent? So every time you pick up the phone, you should have the same ability to call and the same ability to have a clear and concise conversation without interruption of noise or, or echo or any kind of problem along those lines. So what Mike's going to talk about today is how, what four simple things you can do to make sure that you have the best possible chance for a good quality conversation. So, Mike? Right, and it's not, it's not rocket science, really. You're looking to pick up the phone, make a phone call, and have it work, really, at the end of the day. Uh, a couple things you need to take into consideration with voice over IP being an application on your data network now. It is sharing the same medium that your end user traffic is, your internet surfing, your file sharing, your email, etc. So there's just a few little uh, nuances and tweaks that you want to make to make sure that you've got the best design possible. First and foremost, network design. Make sure you've got an industry professional, a network professional, to, that evaluates your network and makes sure that you've got the appropriate up-to-date equipment, that the cabling infrastructure is sound for the technology uh, of voice over IP, and that you don't have any inconsistencies or misconfigurations. Um, the second point, uh, make sure you select a quality internet provider. So that's the, per the, the company who gets you to the internet. It could be a cable provider, a DSL, or a company like bandwidth.com that provides a, a wide variety of, of services. <laughs> Make sure that you select a tier one provider because they can provide you with service level uh, assurances around latency and uptime and availability, okay. which is key. Excellent. Third piece, your end users, and this is probably the biggest component. Many, many small businesses just simply do not have the te technology or in some cases the know-how to manage what their end users are doing. And while we'd like to think all our employees are doing what they should be doing on a daily basis, the fact of the matter is some of them are not. They're surfing the internet, they're looking at YouTube. Yeah, this guy. I'm always on YouTube. Yeah, i got to figure out a different way to get you motivated. <laughs> so, uh, downloading movies off the internet. Some of them might even have infectious uh, software, like torrents, that are forcing data out of their computers when they don't even know it. So, uh, our policy here at Bandwidth.com, since we can't typically dictate how our, our, our end users uh, manage their, the, the users on their network, we deploy a piece of equipment at the edge of the network that manages voice over IP, is able to differentiate, determine what's voice over IP and what is not, and takes care of that uh, quality assurance and making sure there's enough uh, bandwidth or throughput for that voice so over IP. So this is a black box that we... It literally is, yeah. Literally a black box, so. Yep. Excellent. And, and if they pay us a little bit more, I'd tell them the name. <laughs> and I would always spray paint a white for them, so <laughs> absolutely. Fourth point, uh, Make sure you select a quality voice over IP provider. Bandwidth.com might be a good choice. Absolutely, I agree with you on that one for the first time. So make sure, you know, with the invention of voice over IP, there's lots of companies popping up all over the place, and I'm not saying that, you know, some of the greatest companies in, in the country today uh, weren't started in the garage. Uh, probably don't want to go with one that's in the garage at this point in time. Um, so make sure you do your homework. Make sure you've got a a reputable company that's got some history, that's got some uh, business references that you can look at, that has a, an engineering staff for you to talk to, to make sure you've got all your, your business and technical questions uh, addressed. Excellent. Well, once again, uh, I'm Sean. And I'm Mike. And we've been told, I think, we're the VoIP heroes. So.